to be Wang Shu in. Compared to Joy Yunjian, this place seems basic. Are we really gonna find an adeptus here? Let's take a look. Paimon reckons he'll be on the balcony. <laughs> Doubt we're gonna find him in the kitchen. To the blind, <laughs> everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself. Doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of Adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's peeved! All he does is think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname! But if you tick off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. <gasps> you two, again. Wait, don't go disappearing again! What's this? It's your favorite, almond tofu, as well as this distant traveler's best dish, a satisfying salad. Quick, tell him everything before he finishes eating. Rex Lapis. How could this be? I can't imagine it. Though times have changed, I've never imagined a Leoa without him. The ruling Qixing. Just what role have they played in this? <sighs> I will seek Moon Carver, Mountain Shaper, and Cloud Retainer. It is time they too made their decisions. Adepti do not turn on their responsibilities. I have my reasons to not want to be tainted by the mortal realm, but responsibilities are responsibilities. Our god is the god of contracts, after all. Wait! Paimon still has one last question. Hmm? That... little Ming... she's... When conquering demons, on occasion, you can come across spirits who have never hurt anyone, yet are also not yet able to be moved on. So I asked the innkeeper and the boss if they could keep her here for a time. <laughs> 